Hello everyone. Uh, uh, most of you might be surprised to know that uh, I am from commerce background and not engineering or a stats major. I spent around a decade in investment banking, consulting companies in, to raise angel funding, venture capital, private equity, also consult in mergers and acquisitions, as well as fund management. What I enjoyed the most was fund management. It was during fund management that I was exposed to quant-based style of investment, that is, using pure mathematical models to price assets. Now, I decided to quit my job and focus on getting better in math, stats and programming. I took up a number of courses in financial engineering, quants and analytics. I also put it into practice by taking up freelancing projects and also participating in hackathons. Incidentally, I also won a hackathon wherein I competed against a team of data scientists. Uh, in 2015, I joined CleverTap as a data scientist. In fact, I was one of the first two members who joined CleverTap as data scientist. To sum it up, I am an investment banker by accident, but a data scientist by choice. What has worked for me is the problem-solving approach towards things. Any data science project begins with a problem statement. In addition to speaking to the team, I make it a point to speak with at least one marketer in a week or two to understand their pain points. When I speak with marketers, the key problems that they face is how to drive their KPIs higher, how to arrive at those data-driven decisions faster and understand the problems, the cause of the problems affecting them. And my role is to basically suggest them solutions that CleverTap could solve or could build in future. So for us, it all starts from there. Nowadays, data scientists are working really hard to put other data scientists out of job. A lot of stuff that we do like data cleansing, data exploration, selecting the right model is all getting automated and this trend is only increasing. With the advancement of quantum computing, even the model building time is going to drastically reduce. My guess is that 10 years down the line, the role of the data scientist would be primarily to ensure the quality of the training data that goes into the model building. Possibly it may also revolve on the data science architecture and understanding and deriving better insights from the current black box models. For anyone thinking of getting into data science, uh, here's my advice. You need to have loads of patience. There are no shortcuts. You need to have a background in math, stats, or programming. Whenever you get data right, you just don't get into the model building. Understand and explore the data very well. Also, never fall in love with your machine learning model. Adapt as per the problem statement. So select the right model for the right problem statement. Also, for those who would like to take this up as a career, it would be good if you work with companies that are industry agnostic. So work with companies like such as CleverTap, which serve customers across industries such as fintech, e-commerce, travel, OTT, and many more. I'm sure you will learn a new thing every day.